or, for example, that he will stay as president until the last breath. Uh, he did not uh, uh, make any apologies for any uh, wrongdoing or acknowledge any mistakes, and uh, also he makes well, uh, Nawara, well, just uh, stay with me for one second, because as you're talking, we're, we're uh, beaming uh, live pictures uh, around the world uh, for our viewers and uh, just looking at what's coming, what's happening in Alexandria. Let's go back to our correspondent there and, uh, and uh, tell us what's going on there. I mean, we see these protesters forming some sort of human chain. What's happening? Clearly, the confrontations uh, seem to have begun between the two sides. Uh, we have seen uh, dozens of the protesters dispersed, run in different directions. There's clearly a sense of panic here uh, on the crowd. The, uh, the anti-Mubarak uh, uh, crowd was trying to uh, block the pro-Mubarak crowd from entering uh, the square. Clearly, their attempts are not exactly successful. The crowd is dispersing. I I think I am hearing clashes. In fact, we're actually seeing, we're seeing people throwing stuff at each other. It clearly is turning violent. I'm seeing the military tank advance again to try and stop these uh, clashes between the two sides. What was a fairly peaceful gathering is no more. People are dispersed. There are confrontations. There's a clear sense of panic here on the square. And, and just tell us a little bit more if you can see. Uh, you probably have a better view uh, on what the military is doing to contain that situation. Well, perhaps the military is trying to uh, psychologically uh, scare the crowd by circling, circling the square with the tank. But they're certainly not, they certainly do not seem to be firing any shots. There are people. Okay, okay, okay. Do you hear okay. the gunfire? We hear we hear shots being fired. Who's, who's who's doing the shooting? Is that the military? We had to duck. We had to duck. There, there are clearly the 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 protesters are clearly throwing things at each other. We're seeing. Uh, weapons, we're seeing knives and stones, stones being hurled at listen. each other. Let, hang on for one moment, let's just, let's just uh, listen to these sounds and... Clearly this is, uh, this is uh, as you're saying, what started out as a peaceful demonstration is now turning violent. Is there any... Are you safe from where you are? We don't want to be... We don't want you to put yourself in any danger, so make sure that you are safe. We... We are in a we are in a safe distance. It's just when the gunshots are fired that we have to duck because you never know how far uh, these things can ricochet. Okay, do be careful. Do you see any uh, heavy police presence uh, from where you are? There's, there's simply no police in this scene. It's uh, protesters, the two uh, sparring crowds, and the military, and it's. Uh, Actually, two tanks only that we're seeing here. We don't know. It seems that the military might be asking for backup, but for now, we're only seeing protesters in two tanks, certainly no police officers, and it's definitely not an entity that will be welcomed in the scene. Give us uh, an, an estimate uh, of how many people uh, you think uh, are out there on the streets uh, where you are in Alexandria. Very difficult to judge, to judge now, given how they've uh, dispersed they really ran into all the different uh, uh, streets, all the side streets. As you can see, they're hurling stones at each other. The scene is turning pretty ugly here. A very unfortunate turn of events. People have uh, ran off to the side streets. There are many side streets uh, branching out of the square that you're seeing. This, of course, is a key square here outside 
the biggest train station in Alexandria. Yeah, and as you're talking, uh, we're just uh, looking at pictures there of, uh, of demonstrators, uh, as you're saying, hurling stones at one another, an army tank on the move, uh, presumably trying to uh, contain the situation, uh, I would imagine, in, in any it's way. Nearly, uh, I suppose it's nearly a psychological factor that they're trying to uh, scare the protesters, but it doesn't seem to be working so far. And of course, we have to remind our viewers uh, that uh, this is after curfew. We're talking nine, uh, ten hours now after a curfew that's supposedly imposed uh, in Egypt. Oh, shots being fired. Shots being fired again there on the streets of Alexandria. The tank appears to be uh, driving into uh, the crowds, probably uh, just. Uh, trying to subdue uh, the situation. As you're so, uh, saying, our, our correspondent there in Alexandria, this must be more of a psychological tactic. We have to remember all throughout the test since the military arrived in the gra arrived here, they made it very clear that they had no intention to fire at protesters. There was no intention to harm any Egyptians. They made it clear that both the protesters and the army are one. But um, and we are seeing them clearly continuing this policy. They they're clearly not firing at the protesters. They're clearly firing in the air. Is there any sign at all that uh, people uh, are dispersing? There were definitely a group of people that dispersed, but there are definitely uh, a bunch of others who are in clear defiance just staying there. We are seeing the tank now right off. It is continuing to fire in the air as it dries off. Well, make sure that. Uh, you are safe. We are. And as 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 you were saying, um, on the crowds are being dispersed or not. Can you hear me? Can you repeat the question, please? Just uh, to reiterate to so what you were saying about whether the crowds, whether you see crowds being dispersed or not, or is uh, everyone, uh, the two sides, uh, anti-Mubarak and pro-Mubarak, are they just standing their grounds? Well, the numbers did dwindle, but there's certainly a group of people from both sides who are uh, clearly defiant and still holding uh, their ground in the heart of the square. I can clearly see uh, the two groups still present there. Okay, let's, uh, let's just leave it there. We'll come back to you um, throughout uh, this hour. Uh, for now, uh, let's uh, bring in on the line Mohammed Sudan. He's a community organizer.